Hi Scorpio, this is you general read for you new person. <clears throat> Please remember that it is general, so it cannot resonate for everyone. And that includes cross watchers as well, who of course are always welcome. Um, I'm not currently filming at my usual location because I'm at work. Um, it's not ideal and there is a little alarm that keeps going off in the background. Um, but we just go with it. And we've also got very squeaky chairs at work too, so... There's that. Uh, so, Scorpio, in your pre shuffle, it's not going to come to any surprise whatsoever that the Tower card made an appearance. So, I mean, what can you say? Scorpio, right? <laughs> okay, so Scorpio and Scorpio's person. Ooh, partnership and alliances. See if we can get another one. <clears throat> That'll do. Okay. Rest and rejuvenate. So I'll just get the book for these. Because um, <clears throat> there's a lot of information that comes with these oracle decks. And this is why they give you books. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, so for your rest and rejuvenate card, it says this card implies that a period of rest, meditation, rejuvenation and recuperation is in order. It usually comes forward when you're encountering or coming out of a particularly emotional or mentally taxing experience. The number four in, numer in numerology means foundation. So this is a time to heal, be with your soul and continue moving steadily forward. Allowing space just for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. <clears throat> Reposing and taking moments for yourself will give you the opportunity to look at a problem or, or situation instead of being in it. It's a chance to stand back, view your life with clarity and renewed appreciation and see where, where the changes can be made to create a healthier and stronger foundation, enabling you to take the next step. And your partnerships and alliances, the meaning of this card, then I am not able to find my words today. I think it's this heat. The meaning of this card <laughs> denotes, yay, we got there. The meaning of this card denotes that you're now starting to see the fruits of your labour take seed and blossom. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for synchronicities, which could bring opportunities to form connections or unexpected alliances that may create something new. These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. <clears throat> With all partnerships, always remember that there has to be an equal exchange of energy. If you give too much, whereas your partner gives too little, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimum results. This card reminds you that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely sources. Have an open mind when listening to others. Okay, so there's some interesting information in those cards. So I'm just getting a drink. Okay. So Scorpio. <clears throat> What's going on for the Scorpio Collective? Actions. Okay. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh shit. Right. Wow. Um. Way, way more than I wanted to take, but um. What more can I expect from a Scorpio read, right? 
<laughs> oh dear. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> Name's a challenge. Oh, uh, okay, right. <clears throat> so the challenge straight away looks like somebody's got um, too much pride. They owe an apology and it's not forthcoming. At least not yet. So the overall energy for you, Scorpio, um, for your read with you and your person, is it looks like um, your person is daydreaming. Um, they probably see you as having a lot of options. Um, they're probably even actually dreaming about you as well. Um, this is a daydreamer's card. Uh, lots of options <clears throat> this could be you or it could be them of course you can flip flop the energy around if it fits but please don't try and force anything to fit if it doesn't <clears throat> Sorry, i've got a really dry throat today okay so somebody's daydreaming or actually dreaming um within this connection they're your partner's current actions towards you or your person of interest. Um, they are feeling very, very stressed about this connection. Their feelings towards you. This is where it gets interesting. Scorpio, your person thinks that... Um, well, they don't think it. They feel that this is a soulmate union, a soulmate connection. Um, so that would explain why they're stressed then. It, I'm getting that your person hasn't come forward and told you how they feel. Also in their feelings towards you, they feel that you are both from different worlds. Um, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a twin flame connection here, so please keep an open mind, because you also have the star card in your person's feelings towards you. I knew this was going to be a complicated read. The Scorpio readings are usually... Nothing's clear cut with a Scorpio. Um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. You could be, but you don't have to be. But there's a lot of Earth energy in your read. Your person wants to approach you with an offer, but they're not currently moving. Or if they are moving, they're moving very, very slow. This person is a very well-meaning person because the offer that they are approaching with is it's a solid offer. They, your person feels like you, that's very weird. In your person's feelings, they feel like you, um, give them abundance it could be emotional emotional abundance or it could be it, it could be anything um, their feelings towards you is abundance or they might see you as abundant because remember these cards are not gender specific so your person could feel that you're an, abund uh, you're an abundant person and you share that abundance out. Um, so they're slowly approaching you with an offer. They see you as a star, healing, nurturing. Um, because of the presence of these three cards that came out within the same batch, and I shuffled these cards 
thoroughly before I start every read. And the fact that all five of these came out in one bunch and three out of the five are major arcanas. The star, the world and the lovers. This looks very much like this is a minimum a soulmate connection. Or a twin flame connection so please keep an open mind and I would say approach with caution as well do your research don't just jump on a word soulmate or twin flame don't please don't just jump on the words but it's definitely in your person's feelings towards you okay three major arcana cards And if this is a twin flame, you are literally from different worlds. The challenge is somebody is owed an apology and somebody needs to give the apology. Because this is in the, the challenge position, that would tell me that the old apology hasn't yet been given or received. So somebody needs to drop their ego a little bit. Put their pride to pride away. Because if this is a genuine soul link connection, the pride and ego needs to go anyway, or it isn't going to work. Your person's actions towards you, Scorpio, is <laughs> the action they will take towards you is if you approach your person at this present moment in time, they are going to act um, disinterested, basically. Um, so now is not the time to approach your person. Now is the time for you, Scorpio, to do you and rest and rejuvenate, okay? <clears throat> the outcome someone's stubborn in this connection because this is in your outcome I mean what more can you say nothing is clear cut in a Scorpio read that is for sure um, so the outcome is someone is disappointed. This could be you, this could be a person, or this could be um, someone who is hoping to either approach you or your person, if that makes sense, to give you an offer. So somebody's going to miss out. That's the outcome. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to get some clarifiers. your person's current actions towards you um, they're trying to do the right thing for them your person and they are trying to bring balance to the situation if there wasn't any equal exchange within this union in the past your person's actions towards you is they they are going to ensure that there is equal give and take Okay, so there's no more um, one person giving too much and the other not receiving anything. Um, and I'm getting that it was you, Scorpio, that was give, give, give. Um, because their current actions towards you is they are going to ensure that equal, everything's equal. Because it's the right thing to do. I'm going to clarify this lover's card for their feelings towards you. Okay, and the three of coins just jumped out. So it's looking highly likely that this is an earth sign. Uh, there, there are a lot of coins on the table. Um, and coins is earth energy. Uh, this is someone who... Their, their feelings towards you, they're, they're wanting to collaborate. They want... They're wanting to um, build something with you, Scorpio. Okay. Oh, seriously. 
as I said before, nothing is clean cut in a Scorpio read. It just doesn't happen. So this person feels a lot for <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> They're currently stuck in their head over this connection. And of course, if it is on a soul level, then yes, they would be stuck in their head over it. Um, they're taking the last stand as well, so they're going to fight for it. Um, they're working very hard. Um, they're, they're paying very close attention to the details. So that card's telling me that because they are paying close attention to the details, they don't have enough clarity yet about this connection. Okay. They also see you working very hard as well um, for this connection. And there we go. Two of Cups. That's another soulmate card. And wish fulfillment. Scorpio, you, you are this person's wish fulfillment because this is in their feelings towards you. Um... They want this to this partnership to um, to be not this, which is what it's currently at. Okay, so somebody needs to make a move, right? Again, you can switch over the energies as it fits but please do not try and force anything to fit if this is not your story if it's not your message there are other readers out there okay um this is deep this is the first soulmate read that i've had um okay the challenge Page of Cups and Apology, Star Card. If you're not dealing with an Earth sign, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini. The signs that are currently on the table, Aquarius, twice, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So to clarify the Four of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins. Yeah, this this is another soulmate card, Scorpio. You are definitely 100% dealing with something that is on a divine level here. Um, this is the nostalgia card. This is remembering happy. This is happy memories. This is someone that you have known in the past or in a past life. Okay, this is in the action that they will take towards you. This is a soulmate connection for sure. There is something really, really otherworldly going on here. Definitely. Um, so the action that they're taking towards you, they are bringing this offer. There's probably going to be a discussion about this connection as well. There's going to be... Ah, uh, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, so the action that this person, this offer, this offer that this person's bringing in is an offer of a commitment. Okay, so take it as you will, all right? Take it as you will. They're going to drop the burdens for this soulmate connection. Oh, Scorpio, this is a deep, deep read. 
I'll come. Pure energy. So the outcome is, um, yeah, somebody, either you, your person, or an outsider who is wanting to come in, is going to have to take a different look at things. Because somebody is going to left disappointed. That's the outcome. <clears throat> That's dark. And then bottom of the deck, King of Swords. So currently, your person, Scorpio, is being cold towards you. They're being distant. There's probably not even any communication. This person is currently using their head over their heart. But Scorpio, that's going to change because your person's coming in. And the action they will take, they are bringing in this commitment that they have thought very long and very hard about. Because remember, there's a lot of earth on this table. And earth energy, they're not risk takers. They're not. They study every tiny little detail before they make a move because they do not take risks. They don't. <clears throat> so because this is a quite clearly a soul level connection, I'm gonna pull a romance angels. Ah, there you go, Scorpio, there's your card. Walk through your fears. And look at this. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up, right? Capricorn, Earth energy. Your hard work is paying off. So whoever the Earth energy is in this Scorpio's read, that is a message specifically for you, okay? And this, this is strange. This is really, really strange. And Scorpio, walk through your fears is a message specifically for you because that's your card. I have never, ever seen a read as strange as this before, ever. And I didn't expect anything less from the Scorpio Collective read. It's incredible. Okay, let's see if we can get anything else for the Scorpio Collective, please, for this particular read. Okay, so codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, this could be any kind of addiction. This could even be addicted to a flipping heck. Okay, I will take the one that was in my hand. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. As I was saying, addictions can also be addicted to another person. Okay, it can be anything. Um, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Well, yeah, because they're not, they're, they're acting cold, they're acting distant, okay? And that's not what's in their heart. That's why the deception card is there. Okay, I, f I really feel I should take the rest of these that fell out on the table because they fell out with such force. It's safe for you to love. Retreat, which is the same as that one. Okay, so take a break. You can't make it up. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I am absolutely, I'm flabbergasted. This is incredible. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. I mean, <laughs> what more can I say? Seriously. These cards were shuffled. You have seen me deal the cards on camera. 
I don't deal the cards. I allow the cards to deal themselves because if there is a message that is supposed to come out, it will come out. I mean, you had the... Oh, my goodness. I I cannot believe this read. Oh, Scorpio, that is... That's deep. That is such a deep read. Um, best of luck, Scorpio. Uh, honestly, take the advice. Go rest up. Go rest. You and your partner. Because you're both going to need it. I get this strong, strong feeling that um, for a lot of Scorpios out there, your life is about to turn like that. Okay, bye.